What the heck is going on guys? It is Kana Plays here today and we're going to do a little mini tutorial on how to create your own kingdom in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So it's actually a little bit more complicated than initially anticipated, but to throw up your own banner and to have your own independent clan, um, it takes a little bit of work. So that's the first step you need is to have your own independent clan. Um, I'm not a kingdom just yet. I'm about to complete the quest just to show you guys um, that it's totally doable within the, the first um, three tiers of, of your clan level. Um, but I have done a little bit more videos. You're going to need a lot more money than um, anticipated. It costs about 50 something thousand for me to um, surrender peace with the Batanian faction for this castle. So it was a little bit difficult because I took the castle, declared war, had to, had to declare peace and give them a lot of money. So you need money. Um, but I have a video on that as well. So if you happen to to be interested in trying to figure that out go ahead and check out that video on my channel anyways um, straight to it there is a large quest chain that you're going to have to go through to create a kingdom there's two different kinds of kingdom there's an imperial and non-imperial kingdom so clearly the imperial is going to be the east west and southern kingdoms and then all the other ones the Kyrgyz or um, the Kuza and basically everybody else um, they're not going to be they're going to be non-imperial kingdoms anyways you need to assemble the dragon um, banner. This is like your main quest chain. It starts off with investigate Neritez's folly. I'm sure if you guys have the game and you started playing, this was one of the first quests popped into your inventory. So it did take a very long time. It took me 342, or no, that was 342 days ago. It took 72 days ago. So um, when I finally finished the quest, so it's taken a long time to do this and plus another 72 days to finish the rest of the quest. I mean, I might not have been too focused on it, doing other things, but regardless, takes time. Probably eight hours in game at the minimum, I would say. Maybe at the maximum. Who knows? Um, depends how fast you play, honestly. But you just need to find ten nobles. They all have little blue check marks when you're running around on the map. Um, I found a bunch of these guys, so um, it's not too difficult. Just go ahead and look for them. Talk to ten of them. It takes a long time. Just prepare yourself. Once you finish getting all ten of these, it will immediately give you... Um, um, a new quest and I believe you might have to complete the rebuild your clan quest as well I'm not entirely sure I just assume you'll have this done by this point but after that you will have two different quests pop up after turning in Neritez Folly you're gonna meet with Astania and um, learn about the Neritez banner she's in Epicrotea she's the one that talks about the Imperial factions and then meet with Aragaz Ar Arzagos um, to learn about the Neritez banner, he's a current name Marnoth. He talks about the non-imperial factions. You need to talk to them both. Um, they both give you a quest to take out a bandit layer. It's very simple. Just do that real quick in both areas. It's right next to it. It'll t it'll actually s set a waypoint for you, just straight there. So it's very easy. You don't have to look for it. Um, after you get that, then you basically need to find the other pieces of the banners. Um, oh, that's what that was. That was the hideouts. Once you complete those, then it will give you these quests. You get to assemble the dragon banner, which is the ultimate quest, and these are sub-quests below that. Create imperial factions, support an imperial, imperial faction, create a non-imperial kingdom, or support a non-imperial kingdom. And for this um, tutorial, we are going to be creating a non-imperial kingdom. So, you can choose any one. They're all a little bit different. Ultimately, roughly the same process, though. So he's going to be in Maranath. I'm going to have to head on over there, so sorry about any lag that might ensue or how long it takes me to get there. But that's a lot of looters. 83. Goodness. It's crap ton. I should get my um you can get your morale up really quick by using your cavalry to go take those dudes out. Okay, so here you don't actually have to go into the city or anything, you just have to change this tab if there's a lot of people there. Talk to Arasgos and go ahead complete the quest. Eric, it's been a while about creating my own kingdom. I've made any progress. I've done everything you asked me and I am ready. By the way, there is a renown cap. There's a lot of things you need to go through. The quest kind of listed out for you. Sorry, it's incredibly loud. I'm just going to let this get through. Cool. So. I've created my own kingdom. Hopefully I can name it. I don't know if it got to the there we go. Let's check out a quest log. 
In order for the empire to go to its final decline, there should be fewer than four imperial-owned settlements. If this happens, another kingdom can become a dominant power. So, we are going to head back to our settlement. I don't remember where that bad boy was. But yeah, so we've created our own kingdom. This is pretty much the end of the tutorial. I just wanted to, here we are, show you the kingdom tab when you have your own kingdom. So the kingdom of, Lo of the Lothbrook. I'm going to change this to, let me see what their names are. Empire, Empire, we're going to do. Lothran, that's my, uh, my constant <laughs> name I choose. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's pretty much sums up the tutorial. We have ourselves a kingdom now. Um, we own Jarrah's Coast Castle. We have prosperity level defenders. You can set your own policies, add a land tax, but you still need to increase your own influence. So it takes time. But what I am curious about is yes, I do still have my, my buddy. He is now a part of my kingdom. So I had a, if you have any, any of your members, you know they're basically good to go so you can see here my faction strength versus the opposing factions I'm at 826 so yeah this is basically the start of something new here so I'm gonna go ahead and explore a little bit further understand a little bit more and then I'll get back to you guys so I hope you enjoyed take care